because this is continuing to talk about the majesty of Jesus Christ when he comes as the king, when he comes to rule and reign. Obviously, these great smelling um, uh, myrrh, perfumes, these cassia, all the ivory palaces, just everything that would go along with, with royalty and majesty, which is Jesus Christ, and every honor that can be bestowed is going to be bestowed upon Jesus Christ. And um, it says here that upon that right hand did stand the queen in gold of Ophir. And what I think the queen is representative here is of the, the holy city, Jerusalem. I think, I think that's what this is talking about when it's referring to the queen. Now, um, if you, you're in First Chronicles 29, we're going to see the uh, description of the physical temple that was here on the earth and how it was adorned. Look at verse number 1. The Bible reads, Furthermore, David the king said unto all the congregation, Solomon my son, whom God alone hath chosen, is yet tender, young and tender, and the work is great, for the palace is not for man, but for the Lord. Now I have prepared with all my might for the house of my God the gold for things to be made of gold, and the silver for things of silver, and the brass for things of brass, the iron for things of iron, and wood for things of wood, onyx stones and stones to be set, glistering stones, and of divers colors, and all manner of precious stones and marble stones in abundance. Moreover, because I have set my affection to the house of my God, I have of my own prosper, proper good of gold and silver, which I have given to the house of my God, over and above all that I prepared for the holy house, even 3,000 talents of gold, of the gold of Ophir, and 7,000 talents of refined silver to overlay the walls of the houses withal, the gold for things of gold and the silver for things of silver, and for all manner of work, to be made by the hands of the artificers and who then is willing to consecrate his service this day unto the Lord. So the gold of Ophir is always referred to in the Bible as just being like, basically like the best gold. I mean, there's different types of gold. And if you know anything about metals at all, like there's, there's varying degrees of purity within, within precious metals. But apparently the gold from Ophir, from this place where they mine this gold, it, it must have just been the most pure gold that they could dig up and mine at all because it's always being referred to as like the, the best of the best. So what we're getting from Psalm 45 is that the queen's going to be arrayed or decked out in the gold of Ophir, but we see also in 1 Chronicles 29, that's how the temple was arrayed. It was, it was overlaid with gold, and it was the gold of Ophir that David put up for the, the temple of the Lord. Flip over to Revelation 21, and we're going to see a similar description here of the new Jerusalem, the holy city that comes down out of heaven after the millennial reign of Jesus Christ.